Hello, Beauty News family! Welcome <laughs> to Beauty News! <laughs> you should own a haunted house. I know, right? You'd be great at, oh, like, good. welcome. <laughs> I love it. Anyway. Um, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yes. Uh, for the other day, for everyone who celebrates it. We just like a good excuse to wear hats. We do. And do something ridiculous. Like we're hats. Like we're hats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before we start on uh, the new release stuff, the updates, the holiday releases that we've seen in the past week, uh, we did have a Yes Style uh, giveaway. So yes. it was for the advent calendars. There were two of them we were giving away. Uh, we've drawn the winners. We have. They are on the screen. Yes. So we will have contacted you guys. Please check your emails that you signed up with so we can promptly pass them on and get your advent calendars sent out. We're so excited for you guys. So we excited. hope you love them. Yep. We loved ours. They were so much fun to open. They were so much fun. It's just fantastic. Also, we're wearing the same highlighter. Oh, are we? Is it Jeffree Star? Yeah. Did you see that during the week as Did well? Did you see it? That was a fun one. That was, that was great. One that of the most great. fun ones we've done in a while. Yes. Actually, I hope you guys enjoyed both highlighter videos yes. that went up this week. Yeah, uh, we're they, starting to pull out the extra content. We are because why not? Yeah, why not? hope and pray that we still have some stuff left over for December. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's, that's hope and the pray. hard part. Yes. Mm. All right, let's start with updates. Okay. Okay. We have seen the ColourPop Karuchi K. Collection. I think it's just Karuchi these days. Is it just Karuchi? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's um, two ultra gross, grossy. Wow. Grossy. Uh oh. Uh -oh Ultra glossy lips in dumpling and bluesy. I actually think that's uh, something else and they've misspelt it. Blowsy? Yeah, it's blowsy. So blowsy. on that image they've misspelt it. Oh but it's dear. blowsy. Blowsy. Uh oh. Spaghetti O. <laughs> Spaghetti O. Uh, there's also four Lux lipsticks in butter, brick, cinnamon, and chocolatier. These are beautiful shades. Aren't they nice? Yes. Yeah. I, I, what I like about this collection, you can tell it's it generally is quite well targeted for people with deeper skin tones. Yeah. There needs to be more collections like that. So yeah. these lipsticks are a great example of that. I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have the palette, which is called Brown Sugar. It contains nine shades. And these look like the the nudes for a darker skin tone. Yeah, I've seen a few people criticize this, saying that on a darker skin tone, a lot of these shades are too light. Oh, I see. Um, but at, like, you know, chai, yeah. uh, for example, and ginger. Okay. Um, but at the same time, I think a lot of people like highlight shades yeah so yeah. I, I don't know I, I i think it works i think it's just a basic sort of chocolate brown palette palette yeah um they could have been a little bit more inventive with it uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Mm. and then there's a pr pack which looks like a jewelry box of makeup yeah so you've missed a couple of things there's ah. three uh cream gel liners oh okay so yeah. there's nut rum and stew so they're six dollars each the ultra glossy lips are six dollars each the lipsticks are seven dollars each or you can buy the four pack for 28 dollars and the brown sugar palette is 12 dollars right or the pr pack which is the full collection with a box is 75 or you can buy the full collection without the box for 60 65 so that's a better deal, in my opinion. Yeah. Who needs a box? Not me. No. Quick update with the Huda New Nudes palette. This is Aussie News, so we'll make it quick. Uh, if you did want it, it's coming online November 1st. Not yet in store. I think it's going to be a bit delayed, but um, November 1st. Excellent. Okay, Jeffree Star Holiday Collection. So we've seen a liquid lipstick. I assume it's liquid lipstick. And it's called You're Still on the Property. Um, and I think it might be blue. Yes. Metallic blue. It looks blue. Um, a lot of people are saying that this is the collab with Shane Dawson. Mm. And I, it's part of the holiday collection. So I don't think it's necessarily a collab. I think it's more to do with like a nod to Shane Dawson or a shade dedicated to Shane Dawson. I don't think it's actually officially... A shame. A, co a collab. collab. Yeah. Um, we've also seen an, like a sparkly red liquid lipstick so it's one of eight that will be released so the blue is likely another one and it's called hi how are ya and that's the whole collection's launching on the 9th so 
There's that. I um, like the name. Yeah, it's I think it's cool as well. And then we've seen what the holiday palette's going to be. Now, this is the Alien palette. Mm. And, you know, if you look at Jeffree Star holding it, so it's in an like that classic alien face shape uh, with the, like, almond eyes. Generally, this is like the little green man sort yeah. of, a little gray man sort of image. So it's pink. Um and if you can see Jeffree Star dressed as an alien, you can see uh, greens and purples on his eye. It was actually quite funny because the guy that did the prosthetics, I follow him on Instagram. Yeah. So as soon as that photo went up, he posted one with Jeffree Star where you can see a bit closer up of what's happening. So yeah. um, it looks like there's teals, there's like lime greens, there's purples. Um, and then just earlier today, Jeffree Star did show a swatch of the dark purple. So a lot of people are interested. A lot of people think this shape is infuriating. <laughs> yeah, I've seen um, a lot of people not impressed. Yeah, and that's fine. I get, I get both sides. Um, yeah, but he did say this is the same formula as the blood, the sugar. blood sugar, which I thought was interesting because it didn't go with the same formula as the last palette. Yeah, the thirsty which was palette. thirsty. Yeah. So maybe blood sugar had better ratings or better reviews, so he went maybe. with that. Um, but what I think is interesting about this is that he's gone for potentially greens and purples um, and stuff like that, which is what he's sort of been missing in the last two palettes. So his last one was like oranges, um, kind of corals, yellows, and like blues and teals, and then and like metallics, and then the one before that was reds and pinks and stuff like that. So it's like covering all the colors just in different palettes. Yeah. So um, I think there's going to be silvers and stuff in probably the alien one as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see more about it. This is going to be fifty two dollars, and like we said, launching. 9th of November, but he will be sneak peeking it very soon. So yep. probably next week we'll talk more about more it. About it. Juvia's Place, we have an update on the Warrior 2 eyeshadow palette. Mm -hmm. um, there it is. Yep. We've seen it. Yeah. It is there. Um, so their Warrior 1 was the one palette in their collection that was quite like nude. nude yeah. Like a lot of browns, a lot of bronzes. Um, but it had a lot of shimmers, yeah. whereas this is all matte. You can see that it's got some cool uh, browns, it's got some warm browns, it's got some coral shades, it's got a black, a grey, a white, um, and this is $20. So this was available for... No, it doesn't even have a white, it's got a grey. It's a grey. Interesting. Yeah. So this is already out, and like I said, 20 bucks. So if you want it, go get it. I do think this is their first all matte palette in their oh, whole collection. Okay. So... I think a few people are interested in that. Mm -hmm. All right, update on a Too Faced collection that is coming in November. So we did see a few weeks ago the different shades of the diamond highlighters. Mm. Well, it's actually they're expanding it to a range called um, Pretty, Pretty Rich. Rich. I think I find that's a little bit on the nose. Mm. It's a little bit like I'm rich and you're not and I'm pretty rich. and yeah. I don't know. I just find that... It's a bit flashy. Yeah, it's a bit um, pretentious. Yes, that. Um, so we did see the highlighters and now we've seen um, an eyeshadow palette. Mm. Now this has, this contains new, innovative, self-adhering, diamond-dusted glitter shadows. So you can see that the pans that look like diamonds, that's a new pressed glitter formula, mm. which is very sort of current. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think overall, this palette, some people will love it, some people won't. I think the row of nudes, the row of sort of pinks, the row of oranges, and the row of blues and greys is a little bit overdone. Yeah, I don't really like the colour story. No, I think I, it's bland. I want to like swatch the new formula and see what it's like, but I don't think that this is one that I would want to buy because I actually feel like this is a really, really boring it's just boring. Yeah, it's and boring. It, and if you've bought things like their, I don't know, their gingerbread palette or whatever it is, a lot of these shades, even if you bought the sort of natural, that natural collection with all yeah. the nude things, you've pretty much got all this. The only difference is those new sh formulas. So mm. they better be amazing because yeah. otherwise this is boring. Yeah. Um, but I do like the packaging. It sort of looks like a jewelry box. Yeah. Um, I don't really like the imagery once again this is like i'm so rich that i sit around in my high heels and my diamonds um and yeah i think it's a little bit 
distasteful. Yeah. I don't, but, mm, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not down. This isn't my favorite Too Faced collection. No, no, <laughs> That's it's not. for sure. That's not. Okay, moving on to new stuff. Yep. Let's start with Besame. Yes. So they're doing a Disney Peter Pan Mermaid Lagoon collection. Yep. And um, it seems like some people were a little bit disappointed in the theme. Um, the whole Mermaid Lagoon thing. They think it's appropriate, the colours they've chosen, but... See, I've seen more feedback about people loving the theme but not liking the execution. Ah, because, interesting. So what we've seen... Uh, oh, by the way, the release information. Um, this is being released on the 3rd to the 4th of November at the Dapper Day Expo. And then on the 5th, it's releasing online and in their stores. So 5th of November, you can get it unless you're going to Dapper Day and then you can get it a couple of days early. But if you have a look at it, it's a mixed bag. So there's three lipsticks. One looks like it could be a shimmer topper or a balm of some sort. Yeah. Because it's white. I would mm. say that this is one of those iridescent sort I would of pinky, so. shifty yep. things going on. Um, then you have like a red and you have um, a pink. And they look quite nice. They're, you know, pink and gold with seashells. It's not much of a, not very offensive. Um, so those, from what we can see, they're going to be $24 each. There's a starfish pink, there's a mermaid kiss, and a water lily blossom red. Mm. So the mermaid's kiss would, would be that iridescent one yeah. that we're referring to. Then there are two clamshell compacts. A lot of people like these because they sort of look classic. They could be classy. They're a bit of fun. Um, there is a bronzer and there's a face powder. So the Golden Sands bronzer is $35 and the Pearl Shimmer Shell Compact is $38. It's a setting powder with a soft, shimmery finish. Mm. So a bit of an hourglass thing going yeah. on. Um, and then you have the Treasures of the Lagoon eyeshadow palette for $48. A lot of people aren't digging this. Mm. Um, probably mainly just because the colors are not yeah. quite hitting the mark. I think the colors are similar to the Snow White palettes where the colors are true to the original movie. Yep. Um, but people aren't really feeling it. So, you know, I actually I like the colors. Yeah, I don't... Look, it depends on the quality for me. They look like muted brights. Yeah. Um, and I think that these could make very wearable looks and they are quite, like you said, true to the movie. Yeah. It's just not what's trendy at the moment yeah because yeah. it's from 1950 something yeah like, what was it 19 1953 yeah. so you know the colors that were trendy then not so trendy exactly. now exactly um and then lastly what we have and this is where i think a little people are a little bit like this is children's makeup mm. um this is the waterfall mist fragrance 48 dollars. it's got notes of green floral a lemon mint and violet rose mm. so this is I don't think it's necessarily a perfume, but it's more like a body spritz. A body spritz. Yeah. And it is in a mermaid bottle. Yeah. And once again, this is quite kitschy. Yeah. It's a little bit tacky. It's a little bit fun. And where you stand on the tacky or the fun is how you're going to feel about this collection. Yeah. Some people are like, I love this reference. I think that's really cute. I can put that on my shelf. It totally matches my aesthetic. And other people are like, um, I would buy that for my six-year-old niece. Yeah, and so Which is fair. that's fair, and yeah. that's where I think people sort of land with this collection. Mm. Some of it, eh. yeah. I think what happened here is maybe they wanted to do something a bit different with Peter Pan, so they went with the Mermaid Lagoon thing. Can but I can I say what it probably is? It's they cheaper. Couldn't get the right. Yeah, it's cheaper, cheaper to get the rights to the Mermaid Lagoon because it's yeah. a it's a less popular property than yeah. just going Peter Pan. Yeah, um, I reckon that's what it is. Yeah, hundred percent. I reckon that's what it is as well. Yeah. And they probably also thought, look, mermaids are in. Yeah, the mermaids are always in, in the makeup community, sort yeah, of. Not, sort of maybe only to a certain group to, of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. But I think a lot of people, and I see their point, is that. Look, we've always talked about Besame having good quality and doing collections really well and mm. true to um, the reference. And I feel like when they did Snow White, when they did um, the Agent Carter collection, they made really classy packaging, yeah. really classy collections. And then all of a sudden, they've kind of regressed to silly. silly. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. And I think that's the issue here. So. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, it's going to be down to your personal preference if you like this or not. Yeah, but. I think this, I agree, like I think this is too childish for Best Mate. Yeah, like if you look at this image here that they posted with the two, like the clamshells, the lipsticks and the packaging, yeah, it actually looks, looks quite fine. nice, yeah. but you have to take away that that fragrance spray yeah, thing to make it actually look like makeup yeah. and not make it look like a child's toy. Yeah. So, you know, it's up to you. Mm. All right, so if you're into cheap, affordable drugstore Australian makeup, Designer Brands or DB Cosmetics have released six new six pan eyeshadow palettes. Um, so these are really affordable because they're designer brands. Mm. So they're twelve ninety nine each. They're available now. So you've got a brown one, you've got a green one, which a lot of people are digging. You've got a mauvey one, a yellow, blue, and I think a grey. Are you sure they all look the same to me? <laughs> then just wait until we get to uh, Makeup Geek, my love, mm. because. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they're all the same. Yeah. Uh, so, you yeah, anyway, know, if you're interested in these, I know a lot of people like designer brands. Do you know what the one thing that annoys me about designer brands? Mm. The name. Yeah, I hate the name. Because they're not you know designer that, at all. You know they're the like... second thing that annoys me about designer brands? Yeah. Most of their products are crap. <laughs> yeah, they, look, there are some products in there, there that are, some are really good. quite they're decent like, for the price. They are like any drugstore brand in Australia. They have some gems. They have some gems, but the problem is that you have to buy 20 things to find two things you like, mm -hmm. and you've pretty much spent the equivalent of just high-end prices buying them all. Yeah. When you can and just go to makeup that you a higher-end brand and get a foundation and go, I like yeah. that. And if you don't like it, you take it back to the store and get a, like get exchanged, whereas yeah. Kemmer's Warehouse, you can't do they're that. They're not taking it back. No, they're not. No. So, um, but yeah. I think like if you're on a budget and you like some of these color stories, you can give them a go. I can tell you that if I was on a budget and I didn't have like 300,000 eyeshadow palettes, that greeny one with the bronze mm -hmm. would be coming home with me. Yeah, this is sort of like cat back in the uni days when I had fuck all money. Yeah. Um, I would I would smash that. Yeah. And not smash, actually just smash it on my face. Yes. KKW Fragrance. Mm -hmm. We've got some new uh, fragrances coming. We do. Like now. Yes. Today. Yes. Or tomorrow, depending. No, it'll be, look, very soon. Very okay? soon. Time zones are the worst. I know. <laughs> they, they treat us badly. They do. So we've got two new fragrances. They're called KKW Body 2 and 3. So number two is a sparkling beachy floral with notes of bergamot, mandarin and neroli. Oh, finishes with rich, rich musk and creamy coconut milk. Uh, yeah, I think the <laughs> coconut milk would make it sort of sunscreen beachy. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and KKW Body 3 is a modern woody floral with pink and black pepper and finishes with layers of creamy sandalwood, luxe cedarwood, vetiver and vanilla. Yeah, so these launch Friday, 12pm Pacific Standard Time. Um, and you can see on the screen that I think the original one was the darker brown mm -hmm. and now there's a grey and like a lighter shade. Now what's interesting about this is that what she's... She uh, must have copped a bit of flack for having her perfect body yeah. because she's been sharing bodies of all shapes and sizes yeah. and just blurring out their naughty bits. bits. Um, but she also, you know how she had released the emoji, Kimoji things, mm -hmm. like two sets of Kimoji fragrances? Yeah. They're, they're not on there anymore. They're gone. They She literally privated everything that they've posted so since the last body stuff. So it could all be about bodies. So it could just go straight to bodies. So it's an interesting move, but um, yeah. There you go. All right, our best friend. We're, we're actually cosmetic. Yeah, he's back. Um, yeah, a lot of people have wanted to know where Kucky and Cosmetics has gone. Well, we they're don't coming back. Know. Yeah. Well, when they created their Instagram account, he blocked us off the bat. So <laughs> <laughs> he did. He public though, so we can <laughs> see you when we're logged out. Um, but they're releasing two new shades for fall, um, and we can see sort of Im an image or two yeah. images here. The images look the same, so I don't know. Um, mm. But they're supposed to be Halloween lipsticks. He's asking people to help name them. Uh, he also, which is very interesting, had blind reservations for his range. So I guess you can buy them without seeing them. Mm. Yeah, that's... People love you that much, John Kuckian. Interesting. 
All right, so the next thing is from Lime Prime. So for National Pumpkin Day, they released uh, four new... No, That's it's... you. It's me. Oh, oh my God. You're a pumpkin. Thank you for acknowledging me. <laughs> Yay. All right. They... <laughs> I'll buy them. You sold me. No, don't buy it. Don't buy it. No, I will. Whatever. I don't know. I'm confused. Um, anyway, so they released uh, sort of similar to when they had that collection of the, the four girls and they released sort of the same shades in different formulas. They've done the same thing with their popular liquid lipstick shade, Pumpkin. So they're um, Velveteen in Pumpkin. They've changed that into the Cherry Gloss, into the Plushy, and also into the Metallic. So I don't know. They've got different names like Spice Pumpkin. Um, they've got Pumpkin Pie, Pumpkin Latte. I don't know if they smell like that or if they've just well, got cool names. I reckon they're just going to have the names and yep. not... And disappoint us. Yeah. I'm disappointed. I mean, it's... it's... Anyway, Lime crime. These are we always now. love their stuff in theory, and then we get it and we're like, why? <sighs> oh, look, they got some alright stuff. They do have some really good stuff. Yeah, but these are out now. Alright, we've got some new products coming from MAC. These are the Versicolor Liquid Lip... They're like lip Varnish. stain varnishes. Yeah, these are... I, I don't understand. Watery light formula that glides on creamy for a comfortable, long-wearing, pigmented... Always fresh, wet finish. That is never sticky. 12 hour staying powder, power. Eight shades. Interesting. So, look, this to me looks like it is a pigmented gloss that stains. Yeah. Um, look, I'm into lip stains, so I'm not angry at this. Uh, we can see the shades here. They're mainly sort of nudes, pinks, whatever. I don't know. I when think... they're on the lips, they all start to look... They Very do. Very much the same. You were right there. So I don't think they're super pigmented, and you can no. probably tell that from the arm swatches anyway, but I guess it just depends if you, like, what sort of tint you want. Look, I would totally get stuck in love. It's a pretty colour. Yeah. I, I, I like these sort of formulas with these sort of more natural colours, where yeah. if they wear down, they don't look weird. Mm. Um, so, look, I don't hate it. I just, I don't know. I'll definitely swatch it, but they do all look the same. Yeah, they do. Ugh. And then they, you can see that they do stain on yeah. the arm. Um, there you go. Not as well as Tony Molly. Yeah. All right. Then we saw a new palette launching from Nabla. So their last one... Um, people were quite interested in it had like a soft purple and some nudes and now we've got poison garden so we have seen what's inside um it's here mm. sort of looks like modern renaissance meets a um, cooler tone palette modern renaissance meets um oh, what was the one she did for her her mum Soft Glam. Soft Glam. That's That was one that her mum, like, they were yes. the types of yeah. colours that her mum liked to wear. Yeah, so it's Soft Glam, Modern Renaissance with a pop of purple and a pop of blue. Yeah. yeah. And a duochrome. And a duochrome, because you've got to do that. Um, look, I find it strange that they have this layout which isn't very appealing, and then you go over to the swatches and the layout is different. Yeah, they have, like, I Like, they've know swatched why. it in a more attractive they, they way. They did. So they're like, oh, it doesn't look that appealing, but... I don't understand. No. Yeah, so I think a lot of people will like this if you like the Nabla formula. For me, I probably wouldn't get it. They look, it's like a nice balance between lights, dark, shimmers, you know, wearable shades, pops of colour. You know, you've got a duochrome, but it seems a little bit cliche at this point. Oh, it is. And I think for... for me it is, yeah. yeah. and I think for something that's called Poison Garden, I was expecting more greens. I was expecting... Midnight colours. Not this. Yeah, some really rich reds, and there's only, like, one. So I sort of, yeah, I would have liked a duochrome, like a dark green that shifts turquoise or something. This is a little bit fall palette with a pop of blue. Mm. So there you go. If you want it, it's releasing the 8th of November, um, and it will be, I think it was 30, 39.90 euro. Great. So 15 shades, three textures, um... There you go. All right. There was a release that made the group quite excited. A few people yeah. were interested in this. Um, this is by... It's not necessarily a brand. It's more of an Etsy store. So this Tammy person, Tammy Tanuka, Tanuka I think, yeah. Um, she's got some beautiful photos. I think yeah. she fucking smashes it with the photos. But um, she's got a Etsy store called Sigil Inspired, and she 
cells, a lot of pigments, um, and a lot of weird sort of flaky, duochrome-y, interesting stuff. And this is a new collection. Now this is already sold out as far as I could see. I'm not very good at navigating Etsy stores. I find no. them really difficult. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm such a potato. So this is called the Fairy Pollen Collection and it's got purple, orange, turquoise, green and pink. So you can see them here. They're flaky formulas. They're duochrome. They're very pretty. The photos she's a genius at taking product photos like she i is. think it's very like the oh everything the purple the orange yeah. it all looks so enticing now a lot of people were like this is really interesting i haven't seen this before it's really unique uh good on her but what is it okay this is actually um this is a nail product typically yeah. it's used as like a topper over a nail polish or even in acrylic nails like they embed it in mm -hmm. the acrylic and then buff it so it's all shiny and beautiful um, or you put it as like a gel overlay but basically like sometimes it's a mylar finish sometimes it's like a form of plastic it's usually very thin and it has um, like um, you know color shifting properties yep. they're really fucking beautiful but they've been around for years and they're not eye safe yeah so... and often what happens is when it comes to like like multi-chrome pigments and really interesting stuff that has been around in the nail industry for a long time they find alternatives that are eye safe and then that's when they bring them out and indie brands do them and they're really exciting yeah these aren't eye safe. No. Uh, she has specified on her Instagram account that these are not designed for the eyes. They're not safe for the eyes. They're designed for, I think she said, external use and nails. Mm. So even though I find this a bit cheeky because when people look at her Instagram account, they see them in pigment pots alongside other pigments um, and they see them advertised on the eyes and the lips. Yeah. But they're not safe for the eyes. Yeah. So, like, she's putting a disclaimer, doing the right thing, saying you can't use these on your eyes. So, don't sue me if you go blind. But people could actually go blind, and the way you're advertising this sort of overrides the yeah. warning. You've got so, to, you've got to be really careful with this stuff because if it gets in your eyes and you can't get it out, it's plastic shards. You're talking about surgery, like yeah, it's and, not good. Yeah. So. It, like, I'm sure that her brand is great and I've heard good things about her service. But yeah, so have I. Yeah, I people have raved that she is really good yeah. with shipping out her products quickly. But do be careful with these particular products yeah. if you buy them because, I don't know. I wouldn't buy them. I, I'd buy them for my nails. I wouldn't yeah, buy them well, for anything else. I mean, else. I've got a bunch of them for my nails and they're yeah. really pretty. And yeah, sometimes when I open the pot, I do think, oh, I want to put this on my eye. And mm. then I, I go, oh, well, I really like my sight. So, yeah, this is sort yeah. of like using craft glitter, big chunks of craft glitter on your eyes. Yeah. It's not safe. It's not for that purpose. And the reason you don't see this in the makeup industry is because they haven't found eye safe versions yet. Yeah. And until they do this i don't recommend buying yeah. these they look cool but i don't recommend them if you want to support her buy them for your nails yeah that's true or buy yeah. her other stuff her yeah. other stuff looks great man she, she does have some amazing looking stuff all right next up we have something that's a little bit of a sneak peek from spectrum brushes or spectrum cosmetics whatever they call themselves now they're doing a uh, snow white disney collection and it's going to be launching on October 31st, so there'll probably be more info on the screen than what we have right now. But yeah, all we see are some behind the scenes images, basically. Yep. Okay, next thing is from Steeler. Get ready for mm. your body if you oh, are yeah. fans of their glitter and glow um, sort of products. We have seen some of their spring summer releases. Now, these sort of look like they are like they're glitter and glows, but duochrome. So it almost looks like they've got a bunch that have a similar looking color, like this mm. gray, soft gray color with a different shift. So there's a green, potentially an orange, I'm guessing a pink, a purple, a gold, and a burgundy, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Something like that. Um, but they 
yeah, they look like they're duochrome shades, which looks really exciting. Um, there's also a highlighter trio at the back. Once again, they all have that sort of white base with a color shift. Blue, so yellow, red. Yeah. yeah. So or it's maybe pink. Pink, yeah. yeah. So they're really delving into that sort of duochrome thing for spring, summer, which is Perfect. really fun. Um, so we've seen more sort of angles of it here. So it definitely looks like there's a red... Um, looks like there might be two purples, yeah. two blues. Yeah. I don't know. This might be additional shades for Maybe. all we know. We don't know much yet. And then no. we've seen some other stuff as well. So we've seen a brush and a spray. Mm. We've seen what looks like... Look, people have said that this could be... They look like illuminating bases. Yeah. Um, so they don't quite look like foundations. I reckon they're going to be like those jelly highlighter things. But there's a lot of them. Mm. And they have different caps, which imply that one is glitter, one is shimmer. Yeah. I'm I'm going to say that I reckon there might be foundations and there might be, like, illuminating color products. Like, Maybe. base products. So, like, if you use that bronzy one under your makeup, I don't yeah. know, illuminating something, something. Um, and then we have these bottles of things. Yeah, I think these are going to be the spray bottles. I reckon they're going to be, like, some sort of... Shimmer spray? Shimmer setting spray yeah. stuff. And different tones? Yeah. So, yeah, they're going to go all out with glitter, I reckon. Um, it's really interesting. Mm. What are these little pots? No idea. They look Shimmer like they, pigments, maybe. I thought they might be um, samples of oh, them. Oh, okay, yeah. So they might... Probably. So that looks like a foundation, and those look like primers. Yeah. I'm confused. I don't know. I'm confused doesn't take much to confuse me really mm. all right jared blandino has uh sneak peeked uh, a new upcoming collab mm. so it's like he's on holidays and he got sent a parcel from the office mm. and it's like he's choosing the scent i i gather so we don't mm. know what the scents are um but they look like it's a little jar with cotton wool and a scent. Yeah. And then what he showed was that he's picked the winning one. So, yeah, he's picked a scent that is going to be the scent of a new collab coming soon. So, our next major collaboration. Guess who it's with? I don't know. I don't really care. No, neither do I. Hurry up. <sighs> Hurry up. Hurry up. Uh, YSL, we have spring 2019. I know. Don't. Don't. Don't start me, sir. Like, fuck off. It's October. For Christ's sake. Like, yeah. Just let us get through Christmas and New Year's and mourn the shitty year that was 2018 before we ring in the new year. It's fair. Oh! Uh, anyway, what we see is a six pan palette, pink, purple, gold, white. All shimmer. Yeah. And a blush slash highlight. Oh. Blush powder type weird thing. Maybe something. Yeah. Something. Mm. 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 The packaging looks nice. Packaging though. is pretty. It's not holographic, guys. Just it's it iridescent. There. Iridescent. Ooh, tag is simply now logical. <laughs> is this hello? You're still on my lawn. On oh, my property. That's it. Sorry, Jeffrey. All right, moving into holiday stuff. We have by Terry. This is the Gem Glow Collection. So there's a Gem Glow Trio Compact. Uh, it's just an all-over illuminator. I hate how they call them trios because it makes it sound like you can use them individually, but I don't know how you would do that. Uh, there's a Gem Glow Brightening CC Serum. It's a Radiance Elixir. I'm pretty sure this is something that they already have. In they, I think they brought this out last year yeah, for holidays. I this looks like, very reminiscent of last year's holidays. I think this is all just like re-promoted. Re yeah. uh, there's a Gem Glow Balm de Rose tree ornament. Um, there is the Gem Glow Brightening CC Serum set. There's the Ombre Black Star set and the Balm de Rose Duo set, which contains a hand cream and a lip balm. There you go. So they're all available now. Um, Holidays. Holidays. All right. The next holidays thing is from It Cosmetics. They have released a few packs. Nothing super exciting, but if you're a big It Cosmetics fan, then go for your life. Um, we have seen the It Girl Volume 2 makeup palette. I don't remember the Volume 1. 
probably because it was a bit of a snooze fest, mm. much like this one. So it's available now, I believe, on Ulta and also it Cosmetics website. Um, but this is an eyeshadow palette and like a blush. So you get 12 pans and a blush. Um, there you go, 38 US dollars, $130 value. Oh, I don't think so, love. Um, then there's also the Secret Source Home and Away set, $88 value, but it's $78 massive savings guys but if you but, like the secret sauce you get a big one and a like deluxe mini try not to knock anyone over while you're running out to get that yeah save your 10 bucks go do it <laughs> um then there's the it's time to celebrate you skincare set so you've got the bye bye makeup um you've got the bye bye under eye and then you've got like the brow pencil and the mascara and it's 85 dollar value for 48 dollars a bit better the superhero lash and liner gift set 72 dollar value comes with a makeup bag it for 29 dollars much better value than say yeah. 10 bucks yeah um we have genesee qua your perfect pink lip duo so they're both full size mm -hmm. and um 48 dollars value 24 dollars uh, you get a brush set. So this is the Heavenly Lux Must Have Makeup Brush Set and Travel Case. $168.50 value for $75. Honestly, if I was picking anything, that's that, what I'd go for. That's what I would buy yeah, too. Their brushes are actually very nice quality, but like very expensive. I like handles as well. They're, they look, iridescent. they're like iridescent. They're pretty, aren't they? But their brushes are very beautiful quality, mm. um, but they're quite pricey. They'll set you back a pretty penny. So... Yep. Um, in Australia, you can buy one brush for like $70. Yeah. So buying a bunch of them for yeah. 75 US is a good, uh, good thing. Deal. Then we've got the 100% Confidence Value Skincare Set. So you've got confidence in a cream, uh, which is a moisturizer. You've got confidence in a cleanser, which is a cleanser. And you have the confidence in eye cream. These are nice products. Um, $73 value, $48. And you have... The Travel With It Makeup Brush and Cosmetic Case. This is just a makeup case. Mm. Yeah. $35. It's a brush roll. It's a brush roll. <laughs> yeah. Heavenly Lux Beautiful Basics Makeup Brush Set and Case. $80 value, $25. So you get three brushes. That's pretty good. Yeah. I, they're nice brushes. $25. Yeah. Bucks, fucking I'll get that. Um, another makeup brush set. These are definitely where... I think the value is yeah. Heavenly Lux on the Go makeup brush set, $158 value for 50 bucks. Mm. Also iridescent packaging. Oh my God. How many fucking packs? I think we're on the last have? one. Don't worry. Last God. set. Sorry. Um, the treat your skin with best sellers, $81 value, $48. You can see them on the screen. Um, and then lastly, it's your life changing skincare gift set, $100 value for $68. And you have um, pretty much a whole skincare routine almost there. So excellent. There we go. Finally, we saw the It Cosmetics holiday. We did! Yes! Alright, so we've started to see Lime Crime holiday stuff. So this was spotted in Ulta. So it's a Venus XS palette. So these are the extra small palettes. You've got the Venus palettes, the extra large palette, and now the extra small. And it's coming in silver, solid gold, and rose gold, $20 each. So we saw that originally, and now we've actually seen sort of some photos of it and it's part of the the holiday collection so mm. you can see the shades here uh rose gold up the top silver in the second row and i guess solid gold down below so they're little quads um and they're fine they're like two mattes two metallics if you like the colors yeah whatever they're fine that'd be nice little travel packs i reckon that silver one is actually really interesting yeah i personally wouldn't use it but i think yeah. if you liked cool tone eyeshadows that's one too check out so we said that those are twenty dollars each all right then there are a bunch of lip packs and they do these every year i just caught your fucking face in the lens and i'm like there's a ghost <laughs> what there's no ghost <laughs> oh shit. this is what i look like when i, I wake up i know we're having <sighs> a bad skin day Anyway, you're pale. You're pale is no. what I'm saying, all right? Um, anyway, so the lip packs, we've got um, uh, mini lip kits. These mm -hmm. are $18 each, and they contain a plushie and a lip liner. So right. different colors. Berry, pink, mauve, red. If you like the packs, yep. you can get them. I think cool. it's a cool set. They look like minis. They do look like yeah, yeah, minis. Yeah, I think they are minis. Um, and the color combinations are really nice. Yeah. So you can see them. Very wearable. Then they have the best of sets. These are $34 each. And you get mini, a mini uh, velveteen, 
um, lip liner, cherry bomb gloss, and a diamond crusher. Okay. So once again, these good, like decent value. These yeah. are 34 bucks and you get four lip products and you have like a sort of berry, a nude, a uh, red, and like a mauve. Yep. And I think they're kind of cool. So there's those. I kind of like the nude one. Yeah, I kind of like the berry one too. Hmm. Interesting. Then there is the Spin the Dial lip set for $45. And you get three velveteens and three wet cherry lip glosses. Yeah. So once again, reds, sort nudes. of warm nudes, and then like light pinky nudes. Yeah. I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. They always do some cool packs like this. And yeah. it's a good way to get value. It is. I agree. <sighs> ah, Lipstick Queen. Also, holiday packs. Yes. So we have the Drops of Jupiter Mini Lip Gloss Duo uh, in the shade Rose. So there's two... What are they? Glosses. Lip glosses? Yeah. One looks like... Of course they are. They both look really fucking <laughs> shimmery though. They do. I don't... I'm not... Oh, gosh. Yeah. All right. So they've got that also in gold and lavender. Yeah, and these look like they've got a little ribbon on the top that you can hang them on the tree. Yeah. So I guess they're more like ornaments than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it. Then we have the Nude Album Lip Palette. Yeah. This is interesting, isn't it? So it is like a lip palette. It is. They're all nude. Yeah. As the name suggests. And you get a lip brush. Yeah. And yeah. 25 bucks. And it's got three star rating already. We also have a Secret Garden Mini Lip Trio. So this contains two mini lipsticks and a lip pencil. There's also the Kiss From A Rose Full Size Lip Trio. So this contains the Cinna Lipstick Rain and Shine Lip Gloss and uh, a lip liner, a red one. It doesn't say what the... the sh oh no, it's rose, sorry. Uh, then we've also got the Here Comes the Sun Lipstick Duo. So these are the Blue By You and Morning Sunshine uh, colour shifting lipsticks. You get the full size in the Blue By You and a mini Morning Sunshine. So there's that as well. Great. 25 buckaroos in the US. Um, let's just jump to Huda. So we have seen that, you know, they're like mouth the lip kits. Things. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of they're creepy but kind of fun. Yeah. Um, we've seen that there's new ones or at least one new one coming for holidays. This was sort of released early, I believe, in Sephora France. Um, but you can see here that it's got the mini liquid lipstick, the mini lip strobe, and a full size lip liner. So the colors are Heartbreaker in the liquid matte lipstick and Heartbreaker in the lip liner, and then Shameless in the lip strobe. So these are permanent sort of colors but you can buy them in a fun little metallic thing and it's already spotted in sephora france store so they've released them early naughty naughty mm. all right so we've seen uh, a sneak peek of the makeup geek holiday palette this is called stroke of midnight we're not sure when it's coming out yet i don't think oh no we do <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna have to bear with us guys <laughs> So this is releasing the 5th of November. To actually look at my phone, I have to do this. <laughs> 5th of November, um, and it contains two duochrome shades. You can see this sort of looks like, what did um, Shan XO do? <laughs> I, <laughs> I got no peripheral vision all of a no, sudden. I don't know why. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Shan XO did a, a really cool palette. We loved Shan XO palette. But with the BH Cosmetics, wasn't yeah, it? This yeah. sort of reminds me of that, mixed with the Manny palette. Palette. why is she i don't know but that's what it looks like it's kind of boring isn't she revamping makeup geek yes they're rebranding um but what she said in her life update video was they're rebranding everything by i think march next year right and they need to get rid of a bunch of these four <laughs> 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 I Stop feel like I need to I need to look at my friend in the eye when she talks to me because that's like a respectful I, thing to do. I, I got to have to like oh. There is no peripheral vision There's, when you're a cat. Yeah, I know. Wait, I'm not a cat. <laughs> you're an alpaca. You're an alpaca. That's you right. Together. I'm an alpaca. Fuck. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, yeah. so uh, she said that they're rebranding and they're getting rid of all the current packaging. Um, and things are 
cool things are coming in March, mm. but they've got like a stockpile of these nine pan yeah. create your own palettes. So it wouldn't surprise me if they just stuck a sticker on some of them to make this. I um, think so. Anyway, um, what they've also released, and this was, we should have mentioned this before, but we didn't. Um, they've also released uh, nine nine pan color story sort of palettes um, for her brand Marste. Is that yeah. how you pronounce yeah, it? Yeah, I think it's Marste. Marste, which is a clothing brand. So what they've done is they've created a nine pan palette with all existing shades. Like you can create your own palette. Um, but they've made them to match the color stories of her clothing. Mm. So the only one that people are actually interested in is this green one, and it's the one that's sold out. And I'm well, just brushing the mic. Sorry, Mikey. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, these are $35 mm. each. People are a bit confused, though, because you can literally make your own palette for, I think, $38. Uh, like, I would have analysis paralysis trying to choose one of these because, one, I'm an alpaca and I don't buy makeup, and, two, she, they all look the same. Yeah. They do. Like, it but, kind of doesn't matter which one you buy. But I do feel like this is a way for her to get rid of excess stock. And also, like she said, she was trying to move all these eyeshadow palettes yeah. out of the warehouse. They've got, like, I think she said they've, I don't, I, look, I'm going to say a number, which is going to be completely wrong. But I thought she said, like, they've got, like, 40,000 or 20,000 no. of them left. She and they want to move them before they rebrand. So... I feel like the re the reason why they created nine of these is just a way to get rid of get stock. rid of stock. So because none of these are new shades. No. All right, we've Wait, seen. But I'm not an alpaca. I'm a llama. Are you? Okay, cool. <laughs> nice to meet you, llama. <laughs> um, okay, so then we've seen some Pixie holiday releases. So they released. We mentioned this. Um, Ultimate Beauty Kit, 5th edition. We mentioned this a couple of weeks ago. Yes, we did. So it's a bunch of eyeshadows and a bunch of like highlighters that can be used as eyeshadows as well. So shimmery, shimmery. Oh, one side's shimmer, one side's matte. Am I right with the eyeshadows? Yes, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So that's available now along with a new eyeshadow palette. This is the Lid Lo blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Lid Lovelies 2nd edition. So you can see it here. It's quite nude, quite bland, 18 shades. Um, and then there are a bunch of skincare packs. So we've got the Best of Bright pack, which looks like Glow Mud Cleanser, a Glow Tonic, and a Glow Mud Mask, $22. And those are mini sizes? Yes. And then there's Best of Rose, so that's going to be their Rose Trio, basically, again, $22, and yeah. they'll be minis. And it's got the Cream Cleanser, the Rose Tonic, and the Rose Flash Balm. There's also the Glow Skin Treats Besties. This is $38. It contains Glow Tonic and the Glow Mud Cleanser. They look like full yeah, sizes. Yeah, they're full sizes. And then they've got the same thing with the Rose, full sizes. Um, this is the Rose Skin Treats Besties. You've got the Rose Tonic and the Rose Cl Cream Cleanser in full sizes. Um, and then you have just like holiday package stuff. Yeah. So the Rose Tonic in holiday packaging you have um, the Endless Silky Eye Pen Trio in, like, it's just a trio of their most popular eyeliners in holiday packaging. That one's um, $14. Yep, they've got a multi masking medley, so three mini masks for $22, and the Glow Tonic full size in holiday packaging. Yep. The time has come to dedicate this episode to a Beauty News VIP, and this episode is dedicated to Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay, Thank for you, Lindsay. supporting Beauty News and your local cats and llamas that think they might be alpacas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and thank you to everyone who thank you. supports Beauty News. We yes, love you guys. We do. And uh, if you made it to the end, uh, emoji. <laughs> How about like, wait, wait, wait. Put your favorite emoji. Yeah. In the comments. Do because it. I'd like to know what your favorite emoji is. Do it. Yeah. Good. Simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. So. Oh my God. We should. Because I can't butt. brain right now. We should hit butt. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I'm going to sleep Look, with this. This is fun. This is great fun, but can't breathe. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this special episode of Beauty News. We hope you had a safe and happy Halloween and we will be back very soon for more Beauty News content. Yay! See you next time, guys. Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> We're not very good at stuff.
staying serious. No, are we're we? not. We're not. <laughs> I can't keep the straight face. I think we got it, guys. I know we're meant to be serious. Like we can't. Look, life's not serious. No. <laughs> you look sad. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we've seen. 